As you guys know, I just wrapped up an investigation into the trading of rare items in RuneScape, how that's manipulating prices, how that will affect RuneScape in the future. While studying that video, I also found some information regarding this video, which has led me into investigating this one more. Now, in that rare video, I talk about who's buying rare items in RuneScape. There's the investor, the person who wants to make GP. There's the nostalgic person who wants it just because it was an item when they were a kid. There's the real world traders and the rich people because they have nothing else to buy. The last two really were interesting because I started speaking with some of these people and that led me down the rabbit hole of real world trading. To bring you up to speed, the rich people, they're buying the rare items because they have nothing else to buy in the game. So I started talking with some of these rich players and I got onto the topic of real world trading. Now, not all of them, but a fair few of them did start to say that they started selling gold as a way to get rid of their wealth because well, they've got nothing else to buy, so they may as well get rid of it and get some sort of monetary value. So therein lies one of the big problems for well, real world trading, but we'll get to that at the end. So I had the perspective of the rich player, but I didn't have the perspective of the other people that are in this little circle of the economy. So I reached out to one of the gold sellers and eventually I landed an interview with one of the biggest gold sellers in all of RuneScape. As you can imagine, I was able to get no real information on them. So for this video, we're going to be calling them Mr. X, but I was able to get confirmation that they are who they say they are. So we know the rich people are selling to this person and I asked them, when did you start this website? And they said 2013. So that means that they've been in operation for eight years now, a long time. All the information that they're going to give me, please take this with a grain of salt because there's no way to absolutely prove that the information they have given me is completely accurate. But these are the numbers that they gave me. I said, how much do you guys make obviously in turnover per year? They said usually around six figures. Now that's obviously a huge estimate. Is that first number a nine or is it a one? But it's still six figures. That's the number that they gave me. They also said the people who are buying will usually do a small purchase first to test them and then a large purchase after once they've got their trust. So that tells us that they are repeat buyers. Now that I had an in with this person, I started to ask some harder questions because the answers that I want to know, I don't care about the real world trade situation or regardless or any of that, I want answers to the problem. So I asked them, I go, do you guys know why people are buying from you? And they actually said that yes, they actually did a survey a couple of years ago asking the same question. And it seems that a lot of the people who are buying this gold either work really long hours, they can't be bothered grinding in the game, and they're now adults with kids and responsibilities, so they can't put in the hours to grind all of this skill progress to get the gold that they need to complete the game. Which funny enough, I had a video last year about the same thing, but with microtransactions. So last year I uploaded a video which I spent 450 keys on RuneScape. During that first video, because I did this twice, the first video, my opinion on it was, this is ruining the game. These microtransactions are horrible. They are absolutely destroying the game. Um, it shouldn't be this way. It makes it too easy, blah, blah, blah. All the same excuses that everyone has for microtransactions. After I made that video, I got a lot of comments with people agreeing with me because there is the hardcore RuneScape fan base who think that you should earn your way through the game. There is that opinion. But then I heard another opinion for the first time where people said the same thing as the gold seller. They said, I don't have 20 million hours to play this game anymore. I have kids, I have responsibilities, I have work. So it's the same excuse from the people buying microtransactions as it is the gold. So I'm not saying they're the same person. I'm saying it's the same mindset which is the second problem. We've finally found the second problem here. So the first problem is that the rich people have nothing to buy, so they're selling their gold. That is called the supply. The second problem we've found is the demand. There is a demand in the game to make it easier for those people who have lives, who have jobs, who have kids, which were kids when they originally played, now they're adults, they still want to enjoy this game, but they can't enjoy this game because they no longer have time. What they do have is money. And that is where this gold seller has capitalized on that market. That's where MTX has capitalized on this market. They realize there is a potential to make money because people don't have time. Just a quick checkup. I hope you guys are with me. Again, this is a very in-depth video, this one, and I really am speaking from the heart. I am passionate about helping this situation and I really hope that comes across in this video. I feel like 
this information needs to be out there so that people can make an educated discussion about the issue and find a solution together. I've got three perspectives already. I've got the gold seller, I've got the gold seller to the seller, and I've got me, the microtransaction person. So I would support RuneScape by buying bonds and the keys to be a microtransaction person. So we've got three perspectives. There's one perspective left that we don't have, which is the person who is buying the gold from the gold seller. After going through a bunch of dodgy forms and stuff like that, I finally found someone who was able to verify their information and stuff like that. And this person is called Gary. I started off by asking Gary when they first started to buy gold and they said 2013, which funny enough is the same time as the gold sellers website. Perhaps there is some sort of relation there, I can't really say, but it is the same year, 2013. And this gold buyer, I did ask them directly. I said, why are you buying gold? And this is the answer they gave me verbatim. The fact that you could skip the grind and boring things in the game to get to the fun parts by spending a few extra dollars is what really made it appealing. I then went on to say, so what about now? Cause they still buy gold now. And they said, it's the same reason really. Having the best gear makes more content accessible before it's locked behind farming gold. So if a new thing comes out, by buying gold, they're able to do the new thing straight away rather than grinding the 200 hours. And this person does have that same issue of, I don't have the time. I want to do this new content. I love the game. I love playing the game. I just don't have the time to do the grind part. This is the part of me that does get conflicted in the sense because it's like, I, I can understand that, but why aren't you buying the official legal way of doing it. Legal is in, in the game, not breaking terms of service. The answer to that is the conversion rate. So these people, I think the numbers that they gave me, if you were to spend $100 on bonds, you would get 250 mil. If you were to spend $100 on gold, you'd get something like a bill. So it's like, that's the risk they're willing to take. They are willing to risk getting their account banned for the fact that it is literally almost five times more money for the value of the dollar. Problem number three. So do you guys get why I went so deep in to get to the bottom of this? It's not to glorify shame, none of that. It's to find the goddamn problem at the bottom of this by asking the goddamn people involved. Sorry, I am getting a little bit passionate about this because I feel like this is something that should have been done a long freaking time ago. The three problems right now. People so rich that they have nothing to buy so they're selling it. People with no time to play the freaking game and people not seeing the value in the MTX. We've got three freaking problems. I asked Mr. X, I said, what if RuneScape was to do something about this tomorrow and shut this down? They said, I don't care because at the end of the day, they have the right to shut down their terms of service. But if they aren't going to do something about it, well, I'm going to continue to do this. And if I didn't do it, 10 other people will do it. So there's no way of stopping us. If I don't do it, someone else will. So I'm just gaining on that. Which again, how do you blame that? Jagex needs to do something about this, but then it comes to the argument. I'm going to try and see this from Jagex's point of view, and this is the point of view that really does piss me off the most because if it's true... So after putting all this information together, right? I'm Jagex. I can see that this, uh, this is going on. I can see that people are buying gold. Here's the thing. Do I take the risk as a company by banning the real world trade, is that going to make people quit? Is people going to stop playing the game? Because here's the thing with the people buying the gold, they've still got to pay for membership somehow, whether they're buying bonds or they're buying membership themselves, they're still paying for membership to Jagex. So is the problem so bad now that there is that many people buying gold that if Jagex was to completely cut them off dry, they would quit and that would kill the game. That is the point of view from Jagex. And that's the reason why I think they're probably not turning a blind eye to it, but they're not doing as much as what they could do to this. I have no doubt tomorrow they could just send a cease and desist to all of these websites threatening legal action, blah, 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 but they don't. So how can we fix the goddamn problem? I already said the problems. It seems pretty simple to me. Give the rich people something to freaking buy to stop them selling their gold. Make the value of microtransactions more appealing. Yes, they suck for the game, they take the fun out of it, but some people don't have the time. You've got to acknowledge that and you can't get jealous at someone for being rich in real life. Go work your ass off, go be them. Not every rich person has a freaking stick shoved up their ass and they're rich because they were born rich. 
Some people work so hard in real life to get ahead that yes, they do have money. Should they put in the grind and the effort like you do in RuneScape? No, they've got the money. They can skip all that because they work twice as hard as you do in real life. But they shouldn't be playing the game, blah, 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 blah. That is a good opinion. Everyone's opinion is valid. The, the way that I draw the line, this is my honest opinion on this. The way that I draw the line on these subjects, if it doesn't affect me or the community, do whatever the hell you want. Buy your microtransactions. I don't care. As soon as your buying affects the economy and it starts affecting the community as a whole, that is where I put my shovel in the ground and you are now my target. This is probably like the angriest and more frustrated I've ever been on camera before, guys. Who do I get mad at though? That's the question. Who do I get mad at? Because these gold websites would not exist without the gold farmers and without the gold sellers in the first place. So do I get angry at them? Or do I get angry at RuneScape for not having anything for them? Do I get angry at people for wanting to spend more time with their family and friends and working hard to make a living? Do I get angry at people for feeling jealous of people who has wealth? Do I get angry at myself for caring too much about this? That's the issue. Who is to freaking blame at the end of the day for all of this? It's a really, really messed up situation. I asked both people, the gold seller, the gold buyer, all of them. I asked, where does your money come from? The solution and the number one thing that all of them agreed on, Jewel Arena. Let me just repeat that. They all said the same answer, Jagex. Jewel Arena. We've all said it for so long. This is bad. This place is bad for kids. Children go there gambling gold. They steal their mum's credit card to go and buy gold to keep gambling in this. Adults get addicted to this where they're sacrificing food. They're sacrificing their electricity bill to play a goddamn game and do this. Now, I know the argument is there. If Jewel Arena wasn't there, then they would find another place to gamble. I completely agree. But the fact is that we're not doing anything to stop it right now, are we? There is two sides to this story. There is the supply and the demand. The supply is the first step in the problem. Give the rich people something to do. Get rid of the Jewel Arena. Stop this supply of excess wealth. There is still going to be gold farmers. Yes, that is another topic entirely that is much harder to deal with. But these two alone, we can do something about today. Then we need to fix the demand. We need to make the microtransactions more appealing to these people. There is a need and a want and we need to overcome the gold sellers by giving them what they want so that the money rather than go to the gold sellers goes back into the game. We then get to the other problem where people want an account that's already built and ready to go into the fun content. Other games like World of Warcraft have already figured this out by the developers selling pre-made accounts to negate this and stop people hacking accounts to then sell them as well as people training accounts and selling them to these gold websites as well. It negates that fact. There is a market for people who want that. That goes back to my other discussion it does not affect me. People need to stop being jealous of this as well. I grinded. Why does that person get a free ticket? Why do you care about them? Stop caring about those other people and focus on yourself. Don't let what they do affect you. If grinding and earning it yourself makes you feel good, great. If they want to buy an account and skip all of that and do all of the content that they want, great. Who cares what they do? Who cares what you do? It's two polar opposites. If it doesn't affect you and it doesn't make your account damaged, weaker, if it's not pay to win, as in like this person buys a gun that's better than yours, don't care about it. So much like the first video on the rares, this is just a discussion video. In the comment section right now, we need to work together to find a solution for all of these problems. I have brought them to the table. We've got the sellers, the people who have nothing else to buy in the game they're just giving their gold away because there's nothing else to do we can't fix the gold farmers in this problem right now there is nothing we can do about that but we can do it with the top end of town having too much gold the second problem the people who have no time to play the people who just want to buy their way through the game to catch up to their friends who have more time to invest in the game we need to find a solution to that 
The third problem, we need to find a way to make these microtransactions on an equal level of these gold sellers so that people are more inclined to buy from Jagex than the gold sellers themselves. And then fourth, the people who don't want to go through all of the questing, the grinding, the leveling up and stuff like that, perhaps we do need to look at an option where Jagex themselves supplies the accounts to the person if they wanted to buy them that does bring its own problems into it we'll have to deal with that later i completely understand but it is a demand people want so all we're looking at right now is the demands and the supplies we're just trying to find solutions for both of those options please try and be civil in the comment section i know this is going to be one hell of a discussion i have the game's best interest at heart in this video and I just don't want to see this game go down a worse and worse path. So my name is Jim and I'll freaking see you later.